Capricorn, what's up? <clears throat> I'm back with another reading. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading. This may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. Some of the energies of the cards here can be flipped. So feel free to switch those energies, vice versa. All right. Let's see. If you need a person reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. <clears throat> The person you're dealing with is emotionally unavailable. You're dealing with someone here, you know, who's very immature, is what I'm getting here. Very immature person out here. And uh, this person has a hard time opening up emotionally, okay? And uh, not only that, but I think they don't even want to be vulnerable to you right now. Could have gone through a bad past. That's one thing I'm getting here, okay? But this person clearly is someone who, you know, they're feeling very low emotionally right now. I think they even want to come towards you. Probably they want to open up. But in short, this is someone, you know, who's just having a very hard time communicating their feelings to you. Okay? Uh, you on the other hand here, I feel that there is an opportunity here where you can have a new beginning. Okay? A new beginning can be on your own without this person or a new beginning with this person. I'm assuming more like a new beginning without this person. But still, you are still not sure if you want to move on or not. Okay? Because it's like a big risk, right? It's like for you, it's like if you let this go, you let this go completely. So either you let it go completely or then you wait for this person to come towards you, which is again a big risk and to start again with them all over. Okay, from scratch here. Let's see. Wow, this person's isolated themselves. This person needs their space right now. And you're very, very confused. Now, you could be confused because of various reasons. Either you both are not on the same page, you both have too many conflicts, you both have too many arguments, uh, too many people involved in your connection or whatever. But I think you're, you're conflicted between your heart and your head right now. One, your heart asks you to wait for this person, your head asks you to move on, okay? So that's there's this, like, this constant uh, imbalance out here going on, okay? Yeah, there's like a fight, there's a tug of war in your head right now, whilst this person out here has completely ghosted them, ghosted themselves, okay? The hermit usually gives a lot of mixed signals, okay? Which is why you're getting even more confused, like, do this, does this person want me or they don't want me? So, intuitively, you may be picking up messages that this person does want you, okay? But they have no action, there is no action from their side. And the action is not there because this person has, uh, you know? They've withdrawn themselves from this connection out here, okay? They want to be in their solitude. They want to be solo. And um, this is one of the reasons why you're in your head. Yeah, see, I was getting this, right? They are emotionally shut off. They're blocked emotionally. They can't open up. This person is going through a lot of hate, resentment, anger from the moment they, walk up, they wake up in the morning is what I'm getting. This person needs to forgive the past. They need to forgive someone in the past. Ace of Cups in reverse is usually the card where someone's so emotionally terrified. They feel they're just not worth the love. They feel they don't deserve anything. I feel this person could have gone through a relationship in the past where things just got, you know, really screwed up. And uh, the person they were dealing with, right? This person broke their heart or something like that, right? Since then, this person hasn't healed. And they jump either from relationship to relationship as a rebound. Or after a very long time, they found you who they felt that they could connect to and all the memories have come back and they probably fear that the same thing will happen with them again which is why they're not you know they're not they, they haven't healed yet till the person doesn't heal the person doesn't learn to love themselves they're not going to be able to love someone else take it from me six of cups you miss them you do you miss this person a lot you have good memories with them you know you reminisce the memories but it's like you know you want something stable with them but what's the point how do you convince a person that you really really love them this person was is probably someone who needs a lot of assurance over and over and over again yes i love you yes i want you yes i'm here for you yes i won't cheat on you yes i won't hurt you like the person in the previous relationship did something like that okay so this person you know they are on and off it's a very on and off connection and every time you know life hits them hard they have a tendency to ghost you they have a tendency to run away okay but yeah with the six of cups here you really miss this person okay you want a reunion with them but it's like you're like in this two minds you want this or not mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Queen of Swords. 
Yeah, see? But you know what? No matter what the memories are, I think you're just leaving the memories out there, like thinking of it as good memories and still, I think you're looking towards the future. I don't think you're waiting for this person to come towards you. Even though there's so much confusion in your mind here, you're still looking forward. And this person out here with the three of wands in reverse here, I feel this person somewhere somehow knows they made the wrong decision by probably uh, ghosting you or by probably staying shut towards you. Okay, this is telling me that this probably person feels that uh, they're, they're in a very pessimistic mood is what I'd say, you know, they're looking at the situation in a very negative manner, more like now Cap there are, there are just, there's just no chance that Capricorns ever going to take me back, you know, that's how they feel, they feel there are too many obstacles or this person just feels they made the wrong choice by pushing you away, okay, what action will this person take towards you, mm. what action will you take, you don't trust them. You don't trust them and this person is still not ready to offer you anything stable, secure. There's a lot of procrastination from their side, a lot of procrastination. Yes, they want to talk to you, they're obsessing about you, they're they daydreaming about you. See, I told you, right, they regret so much. I think, you know what? I feel this person out here is lacking the planning, you know. They procrastinate a lot. They don't make good, they, this is not a good planner out here. Because probably if someone who's very impulsive also. They don't listen to their intuition, they don't listen to their emotions, the only thing they do is that they just run away into their corner, okay? Which does, and, and when they come out of the corner, they're hoping that the problem will solve on its own, but that's not how it works, okay? Action is needed out here, that's something that they're not taking. I feel this person out here, like I said, wants to wait for the perfect time before they can come towards you. I like it because they want to come towards you with something solid, but the thing is that, are they ready to handle this new opportunity to come towards you? Yeah. So yeah, this person keeps procrastinating, they wait for the right time, but everything's perfect, that's when they'll come to you. Probably perfect in the sense of, uh, probably when they intuitively feel you're okay to talk to them, or probably when they feel that this is the right time when you will genuinely take them back, you know, when they have no fear of rejection, something like that. But procrastination, you on the other hand here, you're just walking away. You're fed up of their mind games, you're fed up of their sabotaging uh, ways, you're fed up of waiting for them. They keep playing mind games, you know, they keep pushing away the things that they really, really want. You're just over and done with it. What's the outcome? nice wow wow the lovers and the magician no baby someone's secretly manifesting this connection back babe you got a reunion coming up beautiful this is so cool you or this person you're dealing with whoever this is right is quietly, secretly, indirectly manifesting this connection back. There is a reunion coming up for you both. For sure. There's communication coming in. You guys are probably, you guys are going to get back together. More like a reconciliation. I feel it's just like, you know, the, the two bodies, one soul kind of energy here. Lovers is a very, very, very strong connection out here. This person is waking up to this connection eventually. I think the procrastination is going to get over and they're going to come towards you and they're manifesting you. This person is hell-bent on making this happen with you, okay? This person can do whatever they want if they want and that's what they're doing. They're hell-bent on manifesting you back is what I'm getting here. See, that's what I said. This person is not giving up on you. This person is just... They lack planning out here. Very pessimistic. But I think this hermit energy is going to do some good to them for sure. Yeah, whilst well, you're like, you know what, nothing doing. I think, you know what, you're detaching yourself. You're no more attaching yourself to this person. You're detaching yourself and that's also one thing that could help you from, uh, help you to indirectly manifest this person. But yeah, the outcome is amazing. There is a new opportunity here where you both are going to be coming together. There is a reunion here and this reunion is inevitable. This is not more, I, I don't feel, this is a very protected, very divine connection out here. But there's one of you who's making this happen out here, directly or indirectly. Take it how it resonates yep that's awesome i hope this reading resonates leave your comments below and i'll see you next time bye bye